In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the old school gin classic, the Clover Club cocktail. It's a kind of martini, but we're going to make it without egg white. Stay tuned. Hey Trix fans, I am Steve the Barman and I'm hoping these videos help you to drink, serve and enjoy your favourite drinks. Right, the Clover Club cocktail years old decades old it's got egg white in it we've got too many people that don't like that these days so i'm going to show you how to make it without egg white it is a gin based cocktail so i'm just going to chill that down and then we're just going to sit that to one side now we're going to make this in our cocktail shaker now the first ingredient um is traditionally raspberry jam now I can, i'll be honest i completely forgot uh, to get some, I actually picked up apricot jam, stupidly. However, uh, I do use raspberry puree. I haven't got, because uh, I've still got some of that, I haven't got any real yet, but this is uh, long life shelf stable raspberry puree. Works a treat, sugar based as well, so as it say, it is long life. Now for this, uh, you could adjust sort of a taste to this. I've had a little play about with this. I'm just going 15 mil, okay, one five mil. Don't think you need any more than that. Now already coming off that, big bold raspberry notes hitting my nostrils uh, so the next couple of ingredients you want is 25 ml of freshly squeezed lemon juice and then we want 10 ml of a decent vermouth uh, a blanco or extra dry this is uh, lustau it's a brand that i use it's a spanish uh, brand sherry based uh, absolutely love this so just 10 ml of um sort of a, a white Bianco Vermouth. Now we want our gin. Uh, it doesn't matter too much about the brand of gin. I just like playing about with Bulldog. Bulldog's are quite a, kind of a very, very smooth gin and I think it works very, very well with this. Uh, I'm just going to rinse the uh, the end of my, get the puree out of there, but I want 50 mil. Okay, 50 mil of a decent sort of London dry gin. There we go. Right, now, the last ingredient would traditionally be the egg whites. Now, I'm not sure whether you've watched any of my videos before, but I uh, I don't use egg whites um, because I do a lot of hen parties and things like that in my day-to-day -day business. Um, I, can, I deal with people that might be pregnant, people that don't want, um, or people that are vegans. They simply don't want egg whites. So there are a few different products now on the market. There is an egg white syrup, um, but I use this, Miss Better's Bitters Miraculous Foam, and that little bottle is the equivalent of 160 egg whites. It's bitters, it's shelf stable, uh, vegan friendly. It just works a treat. Uh, it's about 21 quid a bottle but you literally just need about a quarter um, to a third of a pipette, probably a quarter of a pipette, and that'll do the job just well. Because egg white binds the ingredients together, but makes it super sort of uh, frothy. And that's the whole point, that egg white bitters do exactly the same. So we've got the contents of our cocktail, we've got all the ingredients, we just want to ice that up now. And then we're just gonna give this a hard and fast shake for about 12 seconds, all right? And it's really hard to get all that puree in, especially if you've got jam. If you were using jam, by the way, um, I would put the jam in with the gin and give it a good stir because that will then the alcohol will then break that down into a puree, um, especially if you've got a chunky, uh, chunky jam. But the puree does exactly the same, just hard and fast shake, all right? Right, when you're happy that that is nice and cold, just take your glass off, pop that to one side, get rid of your ice that's chilling down your glass there, give it a shake, get rid of the excess water, and then same, uh, we're just going to double strain. So, single strain with the Hawthorne strainer, double strain with the tea strainer. There we go. Perfect, 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 perfect. You can see that egg white in there. If you used a bit more of those bitters, it would give you slightly more froth, but that is about perfect. Garnish with a fresh raspberry. That is your Clover Club cocktail. Oh, that is the gin and the raspberry. And you just that tiny little bit of vermouth that just comes through there. That is just, oh, that is really, really tasty. I haven't had one of these for flipping ages. That is properly lovely. Mm. Oh, urge you, get some, 
if you, can't, if you don't want to buy puree, get some raspberry jam, make that very, very simple. Right, if you like this recipe, give me a, a like, give me a thumbs up uh, below. If you like me and want to watch more of my content, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, uh, ring the bell as well to get notified every time I set a new video live. And then if you want to get involved with more stuff that I'm doing, I've just relaunched my Patreon page, uh, three different membership levels in there, three uh, lots of different uh, benefits to you guys. I've got big plans for this over the next sort of year or so. We'll see how far it goes, where it gets. But go and check that out. Link in the show notes below. Um, but yeah, I'd love you to come and join me. Clover Club. Cheers.